Welcome back to F123 Breaking Point uh, Part 2, I guess. This is Chapter 2, the Canadian GP. So right now, this is pre-race. And it looks like we're going to be the team principal of Connor Sports. There's some R&D questions. One of them is saying that the local media has strolled and the TV will beat us because they're like the Canadians, you know, Canadian GP. And we're going to respond with, we'll beat them. Connor Sport will beat them. Another one is apparently Devin promised a streamer like a factory tour and we are seeing how we should respond to that and we are gonna pick let's see which one do we pick we will pick we're still deciding we will pick neutral which the tour will go on but Devin will be the one to uh, to lead the tour for the streamers, I guess. And we have an incoming call from Devin Hello, now. Uh, last minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear. Whatever happens out there today, I get pit priority, yeah? <laughs> well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority, you'll get it. But I can't go into the race with that on the table. Look, 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 look. We all know Jackson's not pulling his way. Now, if you want the points, I need to make sure he's not going to get in my way. Do you get me? Devon, 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 we've talked about this. Give Aiden some space. It's not about you getting in the way of each other. It's about everyone pulling together, racing as a team. Of course, of course, yeah. So, uh, pit priority, yeah? <laughs> all right, ciao. So Devin just called to say that he wants priority during the pit stops over Aiden Jackson. But you know, a team is a team, and that is not how teams go. You can't just call for priority. And now we're just reading emails Mark sent us and some couple other people. But we are now going into the race made Canadian GP. Into turn two we go now. Butler comes out of the pit lane. Jackson is right now with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. This would have been a lot cleaner if Jackson had just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. They continue onwards, still wheel to wheel, almost touching there as well, as we head down the straight towards the next chicane. Nothing to separate either car, and through the chicane we go! And now Jackson sends them both off the track, and Butler over a curb. That looked nasty. And I do believe that one of their cars is damaged here, Crofty. I think it's Butler. Damage, Ant, but also they've lost places too. Unbelievable and totally unnecessary as well. Well, one damaged car, places now to make up. What a complete mess that was. Okay, calm yourself down. We'll look at it in the debrief later. But right now, I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go. So, we're now playing as Aiden Jackson. After that little incident with uh, Devin Butler, we are P17 in the race. We have two objectives, which is uh, get to P13 before the end of the race, which we just have six laps to do that and then the second objective is to finish ahead of Stroll and Latifi that was had to do with uh, Andre O'Connor the team boss saying that we will beat them beat the home heroes uh, not really heroes they're not the best people from Canada like you got was it Jack Jack Dylan though or something I mean this whole circus named after him I'm pretty sure and as I say that, we make a big dive bomb on Mick Schumacher. 
in the hearts regard to using this because this is the 22 season of course it has gone over 23 so Mick is in the game and in front of us we have one of the home home heroes Nicholas Latifi so forgot that he is in this game that's pretty crazy in a 23 game he is on here because of the 22 season and we are heading into that turn two, four, turn three. Uh, turn two. This is turn three. Pretty sure. Turn three or turn four. Heading to turn four. But we are about to make an overtake, and because the TV is P15, so we have two more positions after we overtake. Latifi and the Williams we get DRS close in we pull out to the outside and it works that was under braking I'm not sure if that is like allowed moving under braking which I'm pretty sure it's not but we did it anyway so we have yeah now two more spots to finish the main objective of uh, finishing P13 or reclaiming P13 and right now P13 and Alex Albon and the William three seconds in front of us and we hit the wall of champions uh, no damage luckily we're only 1.2 seconds now to all con P14 in the Alpine we're all running medium this way very much the last stage of the race with four more racing laps to go finishing now sector one it looks like we will get drs we're so close to the back of all let's see if we can make a copycat move like we did on the tp in this straight and will we get all con and no we do not Get all calm, but it looks like we are setting up to make a move into the heavy braking zone with this. I don't, know, I don't even know. Hairpin? Is that a hairpin turn? Something like seconds. that. But we do get the move done on all calm, so we just have our objective of getting P13 right in front of us. Uh, we are in DRS range of our bombs, so we get it. Looks like we're not going to make the overtake now, but we're really close. Get that second little DRS straight on the main start finish line. And we make a dive bomb into turn one, leading into turn two. This little hair paint, hair paint, hair pin mini straight. Looks like Ferrari, being Ferrari, Charlotte Claire is out of the session. No, he's not. He's gonna DNF out of this race. It looks like he's right in front of us because this is yellow flags. And he's right at the end of sector one. No, we did finish the uh, main objective. Now we just have the bonus objective of finishing in front of Stroll. He is P, I think P9, right in front of Joe. First, before we even want to do that, we need to overtake Norris right in front of us. It looks like we will get him on the straight. We are pretty close. And this lap, we have a green sector two, so pretty good. Looks like Norris is pulling away. And we didn't even get DRS. But going into that chicane, we overtake Norris. And now we just have Joe. Uh, 0.7 seconds in front of him. We didn't get DRS on the start finish line straight either. Which is weird. We are one second within Joe or whatever. We're heading into turn four. We break. We turn four, or turn five, something like that. We uh, die bomb on Joe. And we got him. So now going into heading into the last two laps of the race. And we do a little. Drift right there or something. It was a little oversteer, but uh, we have Stroll right in front of us. And he's in P9. He's running hard. Everyone around him is running medium. So 
his tires should be slower or my tires could be slower because I don't know the mediums less more wear he has less wear or mediums are just downright fast and hard so I might just be faster it looks like that is the case because I just caught up I'm in 1.7 seconds to him now when I was like 2.5 at the beginning of this lap heading into lap 17 and now we're almost 1.4 seconds now we're just catching him slowly but surely and we're pulling away from the people behind Joe Norris and well, Alpha Romeo P8 Potas pretty good I mean we're doing pretty good because it's supposed to be a the first season Connor Sport so just beating the points pretty good if we even overtake Stroll P9 that's more points than just one point P P10 let's see if we get him and we don't get him in that straight. Will we get him into the breaking zone like we did with... Who did we do that with? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot already, but heading into the hairpin, we definitely get more grip than him. This is straight. I think it was a little oversteer. I had a counter steer. Yeah, had DRS gone to a slipstream. And just smooth sailing by him. Going into the chicane, hopefully not hitting the wall of champions, which we don't get that little DRS. And we are now in P9 okay, mate, with and and just on the last lap now. It's pretty much our victory lap. We got points. What more could you want in the Connor Sport car? Well, I'm surprised Bottas, Bottas, Alfa Romeo, P7. Maybe that was just the pace. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in the 22 season, the Alpha was pretty fast in the beginning. So I guess this makes sense. I just had another oversteer moment right in there. Or not enough grip. Same with Sonoda, Alpha Tari, and the P8. I mean, I'm just so used to the 23 standings and like how slow the cars are. Maybe the Alpha Tari was pretty good in 22. I don't remember for sure but heading on to the uh the last straight i guess or the back straight i don't know whatever straight but we're just heading on to a straight heading into the last turn carlos signs is the winner of this race and we are heading uh yeah start check it flag you know got the main objective done Got the bonus objective done. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you uh, we got ninth early. place in the Connor Sport. We got some. We got chaos in Canada. Whatever red and post race, uh, they're gonna be in trouble. I'm sure having a crash like that. Yeah, it's on the news already. Uh, calamity at Connor Sport, and now. We have a call incoming from Andreo Connor. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Listen, while I've got you on, what happened out there today? It wasn't my fault. Devon thinks he's the only one driving. I don't want to dwell on it too much at the meeting, but this is not how we run a team. You know this. Of course. It's just... No, no, I don't want to hear it. We have enough problems as it is. Whatever has gone on between you two in the past, I need you to put it to bed. Sure. I don't want to have to talk to you like this, Aiden, and I'll be saying the same to Devon. Come on now. Sure. Okay, so just finish with the phone call with Andreo. Sounds like he wasn't happy. And social media is also saying basically the same thing. Was it Aiden's fault? Was it Devon's fault? Uh, we won't know. I mean, we do know. I kind of say it's kind of Aiden, but yeah, it looks like Brian Doyle sent us an email. If you remember him, he's from the first breaking point, and there's Andrew saying there's a meeting, and then an interview tomorrow. So, uh, join us for the next chapter. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.